All right, for anyone who might have uh, been here for Guild Wars 2 and never seen this game, this is one of the other RPGs I'm currently very much enjoying. Uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. It is essentially a computer game based on Pathfinder, which is a game based off Dungeons and Dragons. Like, you know, the game where you originally you would roll dice that had like between four and 20 sides on them. Um, so it follows that rule book, but it tries to do it in real time. Now it is a strategy game, so at any time you can pause the game, give your party different orders, and then unpause to have them all carry those orders out. Hey, uh, I'm back, wasn't feeling well. That's an excellent reason to not be watching TV. I hope you're doing better now. Alright, open that. Okay, no traps. Alright, we're gonna go into sneak mode. Unstealth the tank. Oh my. Alright. Everybody back up if you can. Oh no. That's not working. That's not working. Alright, we're just gonna have to fight in there. I might have to change the party layout so my giant water elemental is in the back of the party. Just so, you know, like he kind of covering the casters because this. It keeps kind of making a blockage. And we just leveled up. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I think I was leveling Stalwart Defender for more armor. Yep, I will get another point of armor this level. So let's go ahead and do that. Easy level up. Alright, what do we got? Uh, Rouse Defense. Major Defense Stance, even if fatigued. Extra Slam, don't care. He doesn't have his constitution, don't really care. So I just mean to be shaken and frightened. Yes, we're going to have him be immune to more CC. Alright, so he's leveled up. Drood. What's up, Drood? Mukluk himself, the big man. Okay. And the cleric. Uh, doesn't really matter. If you're fearless, unless you are a paladin, you're going to get max level really quickly. Yeah. Alchemist. What do I get at this level? Persistent Mutagen and Discovery. Hmm. Preserve Organs is decent. Uh, let's see. Flesh. Bomb, Spiral Mutagen, Extend Potion, Enhance Bomb. Curse Bomb. Choking Bomb. Probably Preserve Organs. You should get PO, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Also, I just like it on its own. Uh, let's see, level, 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 level. And we get to pick a new spell. Do I care about any of this? Stone Skin Community. It'd be really rare that I use that, but. Uh, and what is this? Throat cutter. Whenever her war beast succeeds at a bull rush over. To, oh, I'm not really ever doing that. Uh, bow, 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 bow. Okay. Did they get any new spell slots? Yes, they did. Okay, tier seven spell. Um, could do summon greater elemental just for kicks. Uh, tier six spell. We've got bull strength already. Do we have all the buffs covered? All right, so he's got bear, cat, owl. She's got bull. And he's got fox and eagle. So I guess, yeah, I guess we've got all of them covered. So I don't need to load more for her. So that said, I could put another, wait, Hellfire Ray for that, I need to kill that thing over there. Uh... Oh, it's like Scorching Ray, but higher level. Mm. It wouldn't hurt to have another heal. Because when she changes these tier of spells into a heal, it becomes Cure Moderate Wounds. I think I'd rather have more support right now. I couldn't change that if I have to later. Oof. Not enough wisdom. You warned me of that, but I'm going to have to get more of that. Okay. 
Uh, oh, that was a boss. There's a fire there. The fire in this campaign, guys, uh, basically is resting. I don't really need to do that right now. And although resting, it just kind of like fast forwards eight hours and your full health and all that stuff. Um, it, I have to rebuff a lot after doing that. Where's the... Is there a fake wall over here? Oh, there, there. There's a door there. All right, let's play with the formation for a second. Let's put Muck back here because of how friggin' fat he is. Alk spells? Oh, did I forget one? Uh-huh. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, what was the... Was it G? Yeah, G releases them to hit whatever. Oh, uh, enlarged person we're off of. Shulk McLarge Huge. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna think of, uh, Joe Neils every time I see it. Or wait, was it Joe Neils? It was someone who had, like, been very generous that day, and they told me to do that. And I was like, well, I can't refuse that offer. There, there's been a few people this month who, uh, made it rain in the bone zone. Like, dropped a few bunch of subs around. I think Tan Atlantis did as well. Um, there was... Hold on. Who was the one when we downed that boss on Tuesday? Uh, Veglox dropped $30 when we killed the uh, the new Dijin boss. And I didn't even realize it until you yelled at me because I was, like, we were all shouting and cheering. It is finished. There we go. Sorcerer. And Persuasion. UMD. Tier 7 spell. Um, insanity. That's what's been messing with my party. Mass Invisibility. One minute per level. Um, but it's broken when we attack. Key Shout. Hmm. Caustic Eruption. Acid erupts from your space in all directions. Hits friendlies and enemies. Ugh. Create Undead, Dragonkind 2. Assume the form of a large dragon-like creature, plus 6 strength, 4 con, 6 net armor. Wrath Weapon. Ah, we've got enough animals running around, we don't need that. Finger of Death. Even if they resist, they take a bit of damage. Firebrand. You need to damage any fire spell you cast. Uh, all of the target's weapons, both... So all allies do plus 1d6 fire damage per swing. Huh. That could be a lot of damage on, like, the animals that do five swings per round. Gin, was it mustard? Yes. Can you pass the gray poop on? Waves of Ecstasy. Mm. Prismatic Spray, a classic, but it can hurt allies. I'm thinking Firebrand. I'm thinking Firebrand. If you have precise strike feet on the Sorcerer, the Firebrand will proc the sneak attack also. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Let's get Tank up in front. A Devourer. I don't know what those are. Power attack, true seeing. Immune to a ton of stuff. The undead remnants of fiends and evil spellcasters who became lost beyond the farthest reaches of the multiverse. Returning with warped bodies, alien sentience, and a hunger for life, devours threaten all souls with a terrifying, tormented annihilation. These withered corpses are 10 feet tall, but weigh a mere 200 pounds. A mere. I don't even weigh 200 pounds. Uh, okay. Let's cast haste. I don't know how much of a threat these things are. Alright, 
I couldn't even get Muck in the room. Too fat. I'm glad we put him in the back. See, when you're not in combat, your party can move through each other's spaces. Like, they'll just, you know, step aside and let each other through. But in combat, um, the rules are much stricter on movement. Like, you cannot be in each other's way. It's trying to cast Slate Living constantly. Ooh. Glad we killed it quick. All right. That room seems to be clear. Let's go down to this door down here. What floor am I on, by the way? I already forgot. Uh, what is that, 24? If I'm uh, remembering my Roman numerals properly. Mm. Our victory is certain! Do I have any more large person? It's uh, kind of messing with Shulk not having it. Whoa, do they still have haste from earlier? That's crazy. That's really good. That's crazy. Okay, door down. Alright, hold on. Do we still have any more enlarged persons? Yes, we do. Let's get that going. And our boy here needs some healing. Alright. There's a door down here. I don't think the haste wore off. Do I have any more haste? He doesn't, does she? She's got one. Uh... Okay, now you're free to do whatever. Pretty sure my druid hasn't gotten there. Oh, he got to do a slap that time. Shulk McLarge, huge hit crits for 106. Lots of money. You have Acid Flask twice on her bar. Do I? You are correct. Let's get one of those off. Good eye. What is this? Mithril and Silver Ingots. Not really doing crafting at all, so probably just gonna sell those. Where are you in the game? This is, this is the new DLC, and we're on floor 24. You know, I should probably put that in the title. Uh... New DLC for 20... I'll put 25 plus because, uh... Let's see. Pet party. Because we're about to go down to 25. Update. There we go. But yes, we are on floor 24, right at the end of it, in this DLC. Was there a rest point? Yes, there's a rest point right here. Let's run back there and use that. And then, uh, we're gonna have to rebuff. All right, hold on. So I, I want to rebuff after I look at all the loot we just got. Uh, plus two Frost Great Axe. Uh, Frost Long Spear. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's go to Shulk. Uh, four to six turn. Let's say 28 to 43 becomes 29 to 44. Yeah, I think that's an upgrade. Uh, let's put the corrosive one here. Just so I can swap to it if I need it. Okay, heavy crossbow plus one. Let's check the bow users. Uh, nope, she's good. Uh, he's good. And... She can only use long... Well, no, she can use that, can't she? Alright, hold on. i do this. So, 4 to 16. 2 to 11. Okay, no, it's worse in every way, so no. Sickle plus two... That might be an upgrade for the druid. I'm gonna have to have him drop his shapeshift in order to check, though. 
Hey, Dragon Oak Leaf, thank you for the follow, buddy. Mackwick Necklace, Bartholomew, Original Death Squire, the fourth. Welcome comes you? Dragon Oak Leaf to the Bone Zone. Mm. Why is it. Oh, enlarged person. I was like, why is his dexterity down? And it's because of that. Wow. Going from 2 to 5 to 4 to 14. I would say that is an upgrade, although it's not going to be used much because I usually have him shape shifted. Okay. Uh, Agile Tiger plus 1. Punch, 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 Replia, Shock Short Bow, Shocking Thunder Dart, Whirlwind, Composite Longbow. I've got one Longbow user. Is this an upgrade for you? Through 10, plus two wizard so we're plus two bonus to dexterity, and the ability to summon a medium air elemental once per day is a seventh level wizard. All right, four to 16 damage. Becomes four to 11, and chance to hit is the same despite the plus two dex, so no, not an upgrade. Okay. Adamantine full plate plus three. Nope. What about for the barbarian? She can't use it. Okay. Poor kitty got slapped around. Draken is how it's said. Gotcha. Okay. Draken it is. Uh, full plate plus two. Mithril chain shirt plus one. That might be an upgrade for a few people. Uh, not her. Not him. She's using Bombardier's vest. And not her. Okay. Nobody needs that. Infernal Bond, because this is the other other increase by one. Ring of Protection, one. Terrible. Uh, is anyone here using a Ring of Protection that is less than plus three? Right there. Okay. Plus four, bonus to Intelligence. Uh, okay, that's you. And plus ten bonus to Stealth Checks, don't care. Plus two, Nat Armor, don't care. Cloak of Resistance plus five. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, you are the one I care the most about. Because if you get mind controlled, you start one-shotting everybody in the party. Everyone else is secondary. Everyone else is secondary. All right. Sharon's Touch. We're just going to sell this Gold Vision. Plus one to Illusion. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. And, oh man. This thing wasn't in order this whole time. I thought it was. There we go. Uh, Dorgan Warax. Burned oak, blah, blah, blah. Tower shield plus four. Where's tank? What are you using right now, buddy? Colossal shade. How do these compare? Plus three save throw against blindness. Does this up or your armor? Yes, he's at 48. So yeah, he's going to be using that. Death crusher's full plate. This plus four full plate grants its wear negative energy resistance 10. That's an upgrade. Also, he looks very snazzy. I like the cuffs. That, look at the thing around the arm. Like, I really, really like that. Those are, that's some pirate... That's a pirate shirt made of metal. That's what that is. Um, blah, blah, blah. We've already checked all this. A Cloak of Resistance plus four. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that. Does anyone else need a plus? One. Explain your cloak. No, 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 no. Okay. I think we're good. All right. And we... Okay, so now we're going to rest. Check the long sword on the top line. What did I miss? What are you telling me to look at? Agile. Wait, is that it? No, that's a dagger. Frost spear. Great axe. Burned out. There's not a long sword up here. What are you talking about? Oh, large bastard sword. No one here is proficient in that, if that's what, you, if that's what you're talking about. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so I'll go down to the next floor and then we're gonna buff up. Left of the heavy crossbow? Oh, great sword plus two. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, shoot. Look, I just got three achievements at once Into the Darkness, Descent, and Depths of Madness. I had to change it to Windows view so you guys could see it. Look at all those spears on her back. Do you, I don't know if any of you guys watch the old Ninja Turtles, the original Casey Jones. He had a golf bag on his back, on his back, and he had like golf clubs, baseball bats with nails through them, just all kinds of weapons. I always loved that premise on my Reach weapon characters. 
like having just a whole bunch of like, oh, we're gonna need the Lucerne hammer. Oh, we're gonna need the spear. Oh, we're, this guy's too close. Let's get the greatsword out. Just have like a ridiculous number of two-handed weapons over the shoulder to grab. I always liked doing that uh, when my um, with my reach weapon characters that Shulk is based off of. Golf clubbing was the term in D&D from that? I did not know that. I didn't. Okay. Let's buff up. Greater Fang on all the cats. For those that uh, might be new here, buffing up does take a hot minute. Alright. Immunity to poison. We're going to cast Bark Skin on everybody to up their armor class. This is what makes the game be either... Possible or impossible is doing this. Alright, uh, strength buff on everybody, agility buff on everybody, wisdom buff on everybody. Okay, uh, animal growth on the front too. Is that everything for him? Other than his shapeshift, I think so. Okay. Should I do water again? It's so fat. I think they're all fat. Um, if he's gonna be in the back anyway, let's make him go Earth, because it's slower but stronger. <laughs> the, the wings are ridiculous. Okay, uh, bless. Full strength. I said bear strength earlier. It was bear's endurance, I believe. Uh, death ward on the tank. Remove fear on the party, or resist fear on the party, I should say. I think that's it for her, isn't it? That felt like not much. Okay, I guess that's all she's I got. All right, shield yourself. Cast heroism on as many targets as possible. That's like plus two to everything. All right, bark skin on the people, the remaining people that didn't already have it. Uh, hold on, I'll catch up on chat just a second. Alright, dex potion, immunity to arrows. I'll take your suggestion and put false life greater on the tank. And enlarge person on the melee damage dealers so they hit harder. Okay. Shall we move? We shall move. Autocast rage. And finally, this guy. Who all already got... Okay, so it was over to Shulk. I'll just do heroism on the front two cats so that we have more haste, because the front two cats also have animal growth. Although, I can do animal growth in the back ones as well. Fox is cunning. Um, I need to put Eagle Splendor somewhere on the bar. And then that means I need to put Controlled Fireball somewhere back on the bar. Get rid of that. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, False Life on yourself. And Mage Armor. Mage Armor increases the armor class, but can only be used on things that don't already have real armor. So it's used on, uh, like, pets, animals, and guys in robes that are fragile. Okay, is that everything? I hate this part of the process. It's necessary, but I wish I could macro it. C and Viz? Did I... I did not do that. Thanks. I've got False Life on his bar twice. That's throwing me off. Did I shield him? No, I didn't shield him either. There we go. Because I got over... I was doing left to right, and then I saw False Life, and I went over to False Life over here. Okay. All right. There's ice on the floor. This might be an ice-themed level. You know what? Just to be safe, let's go ahead and put Resist Ice up, because I've got a lot of resistant spells to throw around. We're gonna we're gonna take a hint here, chat. I'm um, seeing so a stone with angel wings and a halo. Yes, the character is a um... oh bugger. Uh... Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm brain farting hard right now. What is his race?
Azamar, thank you. He's an Azamar. Um, if you're unfamiliar with D&D, an Azamar is someone who, somewhere in their family tree, someone got touched by an angel. So he's got angel blood. And they, you can activate a halo ability, which makes them resist blindness, and it emits light. It's kind of like a free torch. The wings is a talent you can take after level 9, I think, or level 10, that gives them plus 3 to dodge, so they're harder to hit. However, it has the side effect of making my shapeshifter, my druid, have a halo in wings no matter what he turns into. Yeah. I wasn't either until this playthrough ring song. It looks really weird when you are an animal. <laughs> it looks very weird. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with on this floor. Bloody Bones Beast. Cold creature. Power attack. Does additional cold damage. Good thing I just put a bunch of... Oh, it has rage. I remember wiping to these guys in the campaign. The Bloody Bones boys, they are insane. Risk. <laughs> I just saw a crit for 109 on something. Alright, I think my alchemist got most of those. Wait, did you just... I... Apparently the last time I played this, which was a few days ago, I had her channel energy on autocast. I was probably in the middle of some kind of insanity and was freaking out. Um, she just burned a channel for no good, no good reason. Uh, I almost want to make a dragon shifting character to see that tiger. <laughs> As of our wizard dragon kind three, so then you'd have a dragon with at least four wings. Over there. Oh, you guys are blocking the door. Still blocking the door, but uh, as long as she's the highest damage dealer, if she's in the room, we're in an okay spot. Ferocious skeletal ambient. I started to say skeletal ambient charger. Skeletal champion archer. Pretty sad your casters aren't highest damage. Eh. Also, the barbarian never runs out of mana. I mean, if I get the buffs up and everything's going okay, I could fight nonstop for like 10 hours at highest damage. A trivial matter. You rest every level. Uh, well, yeah, but I'm just talking about in the general sense of, uh, like a D&D &D game. Oh, crap. Found a trap. I always did what was right. Therefore, I became righteous. Well, failed that perception check. I do now becomes right because I am righteous. Oh. That's what you get. It is finished. We will prevail. I mean, the alchemist does a lot of damage. Do you consider her a caster? Ancient soul leader. Two thousand two hundred and fifteen gold in that treasure chest. Uh, just as just perception. Speaking of odd buff interactions, I can share one I found. I have a character with frightful aspect and reduced person. The first and largest character by two sizes, so above large. Uh, that's huge, I think. The first and largest character, and the second reduced character is small. From what I've seen, whichever buff I cast second will affect the character's graphics, but the attribute buffs will stack. Interesting. Well, that's like when this guy goes to this size, the elemental. He's already large. And then I cast an large person on him. He should go to huge, but the graphic doesn't get any bigger. But he can auto attack things like 15 feet away. I'll carve my name into your flesh. Oh no! Hold position. Yes. 
Oof, she got crit. Please, no more traps. Please, no more traps. Can she hit through the spikes? Oh, she can hit through the bars. Cool. Alright. Let's just do Calming Touch to heal that damage. Okay, got a buff from the altar. Pass the little religion check. Uh, that's not good. Yep. Love's well, gotta go. My tooth's still very much snow boy. Good night, casual. Get that thing looked at as soon as you can. You don't want to go full uh, cast away on us. It is finished. Or on your tooth. I have home money. I'm losing my temper. Defeat is not an option. Oh boy. Okay. You... Yeah, I know, dude. My guys are all not moving. It is extremely irritating right now. What are they affected by? Hold on. Oh, how nice. It doesn't even say. Check this out. I have no idea what this is. I, I can't, dude. Look, they're all just standing there. Everyone is CC'd, and I don't know why. No one will freaking move. My characters cannot play the game, and it will not tell me why. I can't play the game. It will not let me, no character in my party can play the freaking game. What are you doing? Go in there. Does Muck have any spells that will help with this? If I can summon some rubbish in front of Shulk and have her attack from behind it, I might be able to do this. Alright, I got a bunch of mana cores off. She just got destroyed. Dude, what a BS encounter. It won't even tell me. Like, I know you guys are telling me it's probably this, but the fact that there's not, like the game code won't even tell me what's going on is insanely frustrating. Which one's the boss? Did I... Was it the Hydra? No, there's still an aura. Is it the Poisonous Shambling Mound? 
Friggin' 10 minutes of buffing and I get hit with a tooltip that says zero. Keep summoning? I... my whole party's dead. I don't have any DPS to go behind the summons. I... To have a chan... It's a rogue. It's a roguelike with a broken tooltip, dude. I, I would be less frustrated if the tooltips were working. Man. Drop out of earth form because it slows me down. In due time. Do I have... <sighs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to resurrect these people if I need to go to town or stay down here. I'm there. Frustration. My skills are absolute. Oh, you okay. You mean it's one of these bosses? When you said boss, I thought you just meant the boss of the level. I didn't know you meant like an actual story boss. Oh no. Can I not control those? You can't control your summoned creatures in this game directly? Oh my god, I've only ever used them in combat. I've never tried to use them directly. That is additionally frustrating. Okay. Do I have a spell, a scroll of Raised Dead? Don't think I do. Got it, dude. My it's my last guy alive. If I get in vision and he gets CC trained to death, I lose the game. I lose the whole game. That's that's too risky. What's that? Ship's looking that way too. Something fell behind me. Yeah, I can't risk going around the corner, getting in line of sight, uh, getting CC trained again, and the last guy dying. If you go back to town now, can you just revive everyone? If I have enough gold, I have to buy resurrect scrolls for each dead person. So it's a solid maybe. I'm sure I have enough gold to do it this time. I don't know about a second time. And then with buffing, it's going to be like another five minutes minimum before I can attempt that again, which is it's just frustrating that if the tooltip had worked, I might have been able to figure something out at the beginning. Alright. First, let's sell all the non elite or the non interesting stuff. Just get that out of here. Okay, and. Oh, wait, hold on. What's that? Uh, have you sh oh wow, that's really nice, because that'll stay on me when I'm in animal forms. Cool. That spikes, too. Neat. Alright. Done with that, done with that, done with that. Good surplus two, heavy crossbow. We checked those already, we checked those already. Full plate, the bar, uh, the breastplates. Check that. Robe of air, I haven't checked. Oh, what was it, oak belt? I'll hang out of that. I'm not sure if I checked that or not. All right. Okay, uh, if you at least save it lasts like 20 rounds, you get a save every round. If you make the save, you take one to six whiz drain. So if you do make the save, though, can it CC you again the very next turn? I mean, I had, uh, you know, 
Bear's Endurance, Cast Grace, Owl's Wisdom. I, I had every single stat buff up on the entire party. So my saves were as high as they could have possibly been, I think. <sighs> Alright, um... Let's see. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Need supplies. Scroll of Raise Dead. Also, I'm about to use the table in town to rest. If I, uh... If I ha- if I use the table now... Oh no, 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 no. I think his wisdom was at zero, so I just rezzed him and he just instantly died a second time. Can you cure stat damage on someone who's dead? I've never been in this situation in the video game. Together we stand. What do you mean no suitable spell slots? Should bring you back to one. Then why did he just die a second time? I just spent 6,000 gold resing him and he died a second time. Instantly. I stand ready. That didn't help him at all. Let us not hesitate. You need resto or greater resto? I just... Didn't I just try Greater Resto? No suitable spell slots. Because her wisdom's not high enough. Okay, where's normal Resto? Okay, no, okay, never mind. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait, because her wisdom got drained, she can't cast Restoration. I bet... Well, she's at 12, and I bet that's like a Tier 3 spell. I still don't know why the guy got rezzed and died. Yeah, I know I can buy the scroll. Can't cast it on him. Wait, can she not walk up the hill where the dragon is? Okay, she can. No, she can't. She can't get in cast range of him. Because his body's up there. So he's going to have to use the scroll from inventory too because of the, t the shape of the town. I still, hold on, is it over here in the log? I almost forgot about the log. I still don't know why he suddenly died a second time instantly. It doesn't even show it, does it? So here is where I used the Scrolls of Rays of Dead on everybody. And it doesn't even show why he died a second time. It doesn't even say it. Man. 
will see this through. Ready. Not sure this will do anything, but I'll try it anyway. Okay. Uh, scroll of rest down. Use. One dex. The animals are wrecked also. Ether gives minus two. It doesn't even say what's draining the decks. You guys see this? It says they're getting plus ten from physical prowess, minus two from ether for a total of one. Lo that doesn't account for one, though. Seventeen, plus two, plus ten, minus two, one. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe it's because they're dead. All right. So we're gonna use the only rest we have remaining. If we do this and then we die on the boss again, um, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh shoot, he's got a drain on him. Together we stand. Probably because they died as helpless. Maybe. Alright. What is this? Oh, never even noticed that before. You said you guys said it was overwhelming presence. You can do it. It's it's all a dice roll. It's just gonna be luck. Uh, will save negates spell resistance. Yes. I had all the will buffs on the party that I have available to me already. I might have a spell resistance that I wasn't using. This. I could put that on a couple of people. No mistakes. Okay. Hey, Flavius, what's up, buddy? Uh, I'm near the end of my nighttime stream. I'm um, trying to get through a, a bit of a puzzle here. Alright, time for five minutes of buffing again. Do you happen to have Mind Blank? That does not ring a bell, so I do not think I do. Doing all the buffs. I will not <sighs> Okay, and we know this level uses ice a lot. Okay, move fear. I uh, just got wiped by a boss. Uh, yeah, it had this aura. And the game didn't display it very well, but apparently the aura is supposed to make you just get stunned and you prostrate yourself before the boss um, until you finally resist it. And like every six seconds, there's a chance you'll resist it. And when you finally do resist it, you, it still damages your wisdom score. So your brain is weakened. And my whole party was stun locked for like 30 seconds or something and pretty much got wiped by the time I got out of it. And then I had one remaining guy who ran away Spent most of my fortune reviving everybody else, and this is the I only attempt I've got left. Oh, 
Okay, who all did I do bark skin on? No one. I'll take care of it. No, he's used bark skin. Who got bark skin? Oh, there it is. Never mind. It's down here. Okay, so he doesn't have it. All right. Person on you. Turn her into Godzilla. Um. <sighs> uh, hmm. How long does spell resistance last? A while. Okay. Let's put one on the tank and one on Shulk. Communal stone skin? We're gonna have to buy more diamond dust, chat. Remember to remember I need to buy more diamond Let's dust after this. Okay. Uh mage armor. Okay, does everyone have heroism? No, everyone over to her does. We be try hard in chat. I'm I'm busting out the spells that actually cost a lot of money. Uh, did I already do? I think I did the animal growth on those two. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, false sight. Shield. Sea invisibility. Foxes cunning. Eagle Splendor. <sighs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think when I get close, I'm gonna haste the party, summon a bunch of crap in front of us, if I can, and then send in the tank, and then the other people behind. Oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. Uh... Shapeshift Earth. Alright, here we go. <sighs> that was the most BS boss mechanic I've ever seen. Everyone within 30 feet kneels on the floor, prostrates themselves, and just waits until they die. What the crap? The King of Pitax? I don't- I must have- I don't remember it. I don't know. God, I wish I could just save the game and then inch forward. I'm clicking on the ground- there we go. The- the hit- like, the hit box for some of my- like, hold on, look. Look how- you see how it says Muckluck? Just by moving the mouse cursor right there, it says I'm clicking on him. It, it's an annoyance of the game, like, the, even though, I yes, I enlarged him, but his, hit, his hitbox isn't all the way over here. It makes moving a bit difficult sometimes. Alright. Let's try this out. Summon Greater Elemental. Um... I like how none of, there we go. So I say, oh, I like how none of these buttons freaking work. Okay, it's because the bodies were in the background. All right. Come on, fatty, get over here. All right, I'm gonna throw a fire elemental in the room. Stands in my way. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I won't be halted. I 
should have cast haste earlier. Okay, got haste off. What else can I do to help? Firebrand. I haven't used that at all yet. Some of our people are actually fighting. That's a good sign. Uh, let's get you further in the room if you don't get stun locked. Just spam Cassios. Just spam Cassios. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh my gosh. Okay, straight up, guys. I will tell you right now. If I had wiped this guy a second time in the same way that I wiped on him a minute ago, I would not have immediately replayed this DLC. I would have had to step away from it. Like, e like the, the, on the last attempt, my entire party, let's say nine of 10 people, be counting the pets, got stun locked to death. I could do zero about it. They were stunned for 30 to 35 seconds, okay? I could do nothing. My guy ran to town. You have a limited number of rests. I use my last rest and a huge chunk of change, reviving everybody. One of them bugged while resing. I had to res him twice, then fix stat bonuses on people, rebuff and come back down. I have no more rests right now. I cannot rest again. Even if one person gets away alive and I res the party again, I cannot rest after resing them. It won't let me do that. So, it would have been game over if I had wiped here a second time. And I would have had to just be like, okay, maybe in a month or two I'll try this again. <sighs> okay, congratulations, you've defeated one of the lost heroes. There's always only one such enemy in every dungeon. To advance the story, retire your current character. Excuse you? To advance the story, retire your current character and begin anew. The silver dragon and the honest guy will. Oh, I am. I'm not about to flavor. Richard Grey. I am in no mood. <laughs> the silver dragon and honest guy will right. carry over the number. I can't even read this right now. <sighs> Welcome to Flavor Town. Okay. Retire your character. Begin anew. The Silver Dragon and the Honest Guy will carry over the number of items they can sell you, and you'll be able to choose a boon for your next playthrough. To retire a character, leave the Tenebrous Ruins by using the road. You may keep exploring the current dungeon and battle more corrupted enemies, collect more valuable loot, and reach even deeper into the Tenebrous Depths. Wait. Okay, okay, I know you're saying it's roguelike. I want to remind you that everything I know about roguelike, I know from you guys telling me. I never played the game roguelike. In roguelike, did you have to basically off your party and make a new party a lot? Was that a, f was that a thing? Like, this sounds like Darkest Dungeon. Because in Darkest Dungeon, your heroes... You, they either beat a final boss or they wiped. And even if they beat one of the final bosses, they all got uh, PTSD and they were no longer willing to go back to the Darkest Dungeon. So you had to make a new party every time. And God help you if you wiped, because then you had to make a new party to go back and do the guy that you had already tried to beat. Okay, well, let's try to finish clearing this room. I didn't order any better. Oh, that was a... The whole party left? Whoa! Time's not waiting. Hold on. I'm losing it's my not him. Temper. Is it my druid? Some of my people are not under my control. Song of Discord. This spell causes those within the area to turn on each other and attack uh, rather than attack their foes. Each affected creature has a 50% chance to attack the nearest target every round. Um, a creature that does not attack its nearest neighbor is free to act normally for that round. Um, let's try to rest. 
The debuff lasted two minutes. I just fast forwarded time by eight hours. It wore off of everybody. Out of my way. Wait, why are you still channeling energy? Stop it. Oh man. Um let's turn this off. So wait a minute. Okay, so we've overcome the wicked chanter. So there's the spawn of Rovagog, the captor and the captive, and the weary traveler, and the fallen priestess. Are you telling me that to advance this story, I have to make a new group, go through 25 levels ish, and defeat a boss four times before I can probably make a. Th this is this is the one that just did it. Four more bosses before I can probably make a sixth group to go into the dungeon to go after the final boss, the egg. There is no way. You stop that dropping right Richard now, Richard Grico. You stop that. There is no way. There is no <sighs> way. All right. I'm gonna put this video on YouTube, and it's gonna be called "Welcome to Flavor." We no. beat it. <laughs> oh, nice! She fails to pick the lock after all that. What? Okay, so what level did we get to after one go through this? Uh, hold on. What level is he? He's he's going to four fourteen? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to 14. So everybody... Oh, no, 15 level up. I'm sorry. He is 14. He's going to 15. Uh, close the interface, yeah. So... Yeah, so... Good lord, that is so... Just imagining that is so daunting. Because I, if you could save templates or something... Because I have a... This is my favorite group. This has become my favorite group in the Pathfinder Kingmaker video game. And I would probably remake this like a very similar, if not the same group, every single time. I oh, we, here. Let me make this so you guys can see it. Three achievements just popped up. I don't know what all these are. Into the darkness, descent, and something else. Six druids. No, yo, my druid was constantly getting everybody stuck. We don't need six druids. All right, let's let's just just for kicks. Let's go through this. Uh, another level of Star Defender gives some damage reduction. I would make the tank an Azamar next time. I forgot that Wings gives plus three to armor class. He could be at 51 armor when fully buffed with Wings. Um, Pulling style. I still wonder, because of he has one level of Monk, which gives him some Kung Fu for those not interested. Uh, in, not interested. Uh, for those that are not... Uh, aware of how leveling in this game works you're like he's a level 15 character within that he's a level five stalwart defender a level one monk and a level nine fighter who's a tower shield specialist like you can be multiple classes and split your levels among them being one level in monk allows him to use a skill called crane stance which is like Picture like Bruce Lee or something. Like he, he he's a little more agile. He dodges some attacks more often. It gives him more armor class. Um, there's a skill called Crane Wing, which is plus four to armor, which is huge in this game. That's like twenty percent more chance to dodge essentially. But you can only use it if you have a hand free. So the idea I wanted to try someday was basically having. I remember it shield. like it was and then just, just an empty hand. Just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Osri doesn't need to know about that. Slap attacks at the you were talking about. F me! F me! Uh, I am useful, I promise. Oh! Okay. I've been stream sniped! Yes! Guys, I'm a broken man right now. I, I won the fight, get but they won the war. The freaking booth. I am get, a broken man. Get out man. of my Discord. There. Ninja Vanna. Like, the <laughs> sheer... The sheer scope of what remains in this DLC... The sheer scope of what remains has broken me. Ready. Yeah, Flavius, if you like customization and strategy, this would be a game for you. If it looks overwhelming and you're like, oh my god, I just want to smash things, it probably not. But like, for example, over here on the left-hand side are the classes. And like I said, you every level you can be like, mm, I could be a level 3 wizard, or I could be a level 2 wizard, a level 1 fighter, and punch people with fire. 
you know, whatever, you can mix and match, and that's that's how the paper game works, and that's what this is based off of. Uh, you have to get to level 50 for that third achievement. Game's not done until we 100%. Dude, I have so many other games that I want to play right now. I, I cannot imagine me going through this six more times. Six more, no, not Doki Doki Literature Club, you psychopath. No. Oh my god, okay, well. I'm gonna save the game here. I'm gonna go to the main menu. I mean, I mean, what does it want me? It said uh, you go to town and go down the road, right? Let's see what happens when we do that. Let's see what happens when we go to town and go down the road. So I, I, I'll see that. I'll see that. So we're we're the adventurers, and they're like, you know, we did our part of saving the world. We're freaking done. We've done our part, dragon. Hire some new people. I don't know why, we we're, we're having great success, but we are no longer willing to continue. I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. All right, it says continue down the road and leaving town. Talk to the dragon first. Oh my God, talk to the dragon first, okay. The giant reptile lowers his head. I bow to your courage, oh fearless mortal. I will never forget it and I will never forget you. I've given peace to the wicked chanter. I'm glad to know this nightmare will no longer wander the tenebrous depths. She was so reckless and evil and looked and sounded so innocent, the better to draw her prey into her nets. A rush of madness has passed and a veil of darkness has been drawn. I managed to go further than before into the dungeon without the risk of becoming a puppet to the forces of evil. I've returned with some powerful items. I think they will interest you. Um, wait, like, does that just mean that he added stuff to the shop? Is that, is that all that means? Uh, hold on, let's see if Honest... There's only one other person in the town that's an Honest Guy over here. Let's see if he says anything. Honest Guy reminds me of the dude in Dark Souls who was bald and he was always betraying you. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. But he betrays you like five times in Dark Souls. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, he doesn't have anything new. Okay. Did anyone here play Dark Souls? Who knows who's I'm, who I'm talking about? Do all the options and he changes his name? Oh, okay. I guess I just didn't talk to him enough. I really want to see what happens when you leave town at this point. I'm, I'm very interested to see how it pans out, if there's a cinematic or something. Or, like, cards. There's usually cards in this, in this type of games. There's always only one lost hero enemy in every dungeon. If you've already defeated one of those, then to advance the story, retire your current character, and begin anew. The Silver Dragon and the Honest Guy will carry over the number of items that they can sell you, and you'll be able to choose a boon for your next playthrough. Do you wish to retire your character? I freaking guess so. The struggle, the story of Muckluck may have ended, but the struggle against evil should continue. This is the fourth uh. one. This is the fourth one. Oh, I've got that one right now, now Daddy. Mm. Welcome to Flavor Town, Daddy. Richard Grico. Uh. Okay. Dungeon level reached twenty six. Party's final enemy. Apparently unknown. Seven hours and twenty minutes. There wasn't much reading. So if I did this six more times, we're looking at like almost 40 more hours of the same content. 522 enemies killed. Top damage dealer, Shulk McLarge Huge, killed, did 43.96% of the party's damage. Shulk McLarge Huge did 43% of our 10 man party's damage. Chest discovered, 131 out of 162. Total equipment cost, 1,135,585. Total damage sustained, 4,920. You did not use any boons. If I hit start again, what happens? If it goes straight to character creation, I'm not doing that right now. Um... In this mode, the game automatically saves some key points. I just want to see if I can select the bones. I just want to see if I can select the bones. 
Select a save to import your progress. Uh, is Mutt getting bored of Pathfinder? A hero, yes, this is what I wanted to see. Um, it's not that I'm getting bored. It's that it's a very daunting task to do the exact same dungeon I just did. Now, it'll be re-randomized. It'll be different. But basically do the same 25-ish levels I just did. Could be 15, could be 40. Six more times. Six more. Make a new party. Blah, blah, blah. Make a new party. Blah, blah. Now, it wouldn't be that bad if the big-time consumer... Which, by the way, they fixed the loading screens in this game. They did a great freaking job. But... The I spend so much time buffing. I spend so much time buffing. Uh, like, and, and since I rest after every floor, it adds a lot of time. I wish I could macro that. Okay, hold on. I want to see this. You start the game with random magical armor from the from twenty four level of the dungeon. Is that supposed to say level twenty four of the dungeon? You start the game with six copies of magical headgear from the tenth level of the dungeon. Your main character gets plus three bonus to all saving throws. All your characters get... I would get the armor class. Holy crap, I would get the armor class. Because you'll eventually get armor. You'll eventually get headgear. This is nice. This is oh my god. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm not uninstalling it or anything, but I do not think in the near future I'm going to go down a second time. It's, uh, that's, that's very daunting. I'm going to keep it installed. I'm going to keep this save file. And, uh, hold on. If I do Beneath the Stolen Lands, can I just dive right back in there? Yeah, okay, I can import. So I, I from the main screen, I can pick up and continue. Hours and hours of Guild War 2 PvP. Yeah, and uh, it, I, I admit, it, that hooks me a little bit more. Th this is fun, but it's, I never thought I would say it in this, but I, I actually miss the story. Like... You know, I, I I like the combat, but after non-stop, 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 non-stop combat and resting, I need more a little bit more story, so. It's not the same thing, White Tiger. It's not the same. No, I get it. I get it. I've even said before that I am surprised by how much I am uh, hooked on Guild Wars 2 PvP, because most other games, I get bored of it after a while. The moment stream buffers and leaves you with this. What? <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna put that on my business card. I dig it. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, okay, that was cool. Um, but before I play Pathfinder again, I may do the playthrough, the story-driven playthrough of Guild Wars 1, where we just tear through the campaign as quickly as we can. And, uh... What was the other thing that I talked about doing? Dragon Age Inquisition's DLCs. That would be over 100 or 200 hours. That would take quite a while. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, gosh. You love this clip, don't you? Here you go. I believe this is supposed to represent me on Pathfinder. Hey yo everyone, Muckluck YouTube here with another wacky meme build for you and Pathfinder King member. Oh yuck. Watch as my five druids use their highest summon nature's ally and my sylvan sorcerer does summon monster five and then uses haste. See that lonely goblin in the next room? Oh boy, is he in for a fun time under this furry cuddle pile. Me- I'm not reading the rest of that. That's as much as you get. Because <laughs> it got lewd after that. They were giving me a script and it got lewd. And you did that in the last fight? Uh, I did not use Summon Nature's Ally. I didn't have that spell. <laughs> I did not have that spell. <laughs> okay. We're gonna wrap up there. Um, no, I didn't. I used uh, Summon Greater Elemental. I, don't, I didn't have Summon Nature's Ally. That one summons like a fairy. Or uh, a fae. So technically I didn't. I gotta say, I wonder though if I did this again. All those Smilodons are the strongest pet. They're so fat. I might switch to leopards just because they're smaller. You turned it into ally? No, no, I didn't, I didn't. I did not, I, I summoned a greater uh, fire elemental and I sent it into the room. It was a 20 foot tall pillar of fire. You can check the bot if you want to, but I did. Um, yes, thank you all for coming by. I appreciate you being here. Thank you all for talking to me. Uh, 
bought it. He said, yeah, you can check. You can check. Dude, it was a, it was a summon greater fire roll. It was a 20 foot tall fire guy. Was... I, I mean, I don't win anything by proving you wrong, but you're wrong in this case. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. We're gonna stop the stream here for the night. I'm gonna get some sleep. Happy Father's Day if you're a dad. If you forgot to call your dad, if your dad is still in your life, leave him a voicemail real quick so you don't get in trouble. I don't know. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. With that said, if you liked what you saw and you're new here, we stream every single night after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Over 380 daily streams in a row without missing a single day. Very consistent here in the Bone Zone. Hit the follow button if you haven't already, and you'll be able to see when we go online very easily. Additionally, we do giveaways every single Friday. This week's is extra special because ArenaNet has sponsored it, and the winner gets a still-sealed copy of Guild Wars 1, the game that started it all for ArenaNet, and I will ship that to you. The second place will get a Humble Bundle giveaway, which is approximately $100 worth of games uh, sent to you by Humble Bundle. So be sure you get a raffle ticket, and you're here for the drawing on Friday if you want to get in on that. If you don't have enough points to buy a raffle ticket, you get points every minute you have my stream open. Basically, it's my way of giving back to people who help support me. And lastly, we always raid somebody else at the end of the stream. So give me just a minute, and we're going to find someone playing Pathfinder Kingmaker that does not yet know the horrible, horrible truth about this DLC, and we are going to send them some love on our way out. Uh, Duvader, thank you. Happy Father's Day to you as well, my friend. Give me just a minute to find a juicy target. Um, there are three people, including me, that are currently playing it. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at these guys and see what the kind of their jib is. See this one? Oh, okay. This guy doesn't really need it. He's got he's got ten thousand followers already. A Twitch baby. Guys, a Twitch baby. He's got eight followers, three viewers. 492 lifetime views. Uh, I love rating Twitch babies. I love showing them that there's good people on Twitch and blowing their minds, often with the biggest raid they've ever had. Okay, uh, looks like Red Knight is gonna be our target. Never met this guy, I don't know him. Guys, when you get there, help me make some noise. Drop the raid emote, one of my emotes, your favorite emote, a poop emoji, I don't care. Just make some noise, make his chat blow up, make it memorable for him. And after that, I hope you all have a good night. Hope I get to see you tomorrow. Peace.